It's a new dawn, it's a new day of selling tat on the internet. This guy's got to go out today and so does a lot of other stuff as well. If you are new, I'm John Luke. I'm a full-time eBay seller. I buy stuff from charity shops, car boots, wholesale, all kinds of stuff. And I sell it online, hopefully making a profit. And that's how I make a living. And I sell absolutely everything. So clothes, trainers, games, books, action figures, football boots, skateboards, loads more clothes up there, Mexican hats, you name it, I probably sell it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what sold over the weekend. I've got loads of orders going out. It is Monday morning. I'm going to show you what's getting listed today. I'm going to go out sourcing, maybe find a few bits that I can sell online and make a profit. So yeah, come along for the ride. I've got loads going on today. Lots to do. So hope you enjoy. So as I said before, Raphael there has sold for £50 this morning. The unfortunate thing about Raphael is his leg's broken. So yeah, that is not ideal we did pick him up with a broken leg so uh we did know what i was getting him for super detailed necker figure one fourth scale we do have a michelangelo which doesn't have a broken leg he's listed for a lot higher so 50 quid for a broken figure we will take that this came in a big bundle that cost us 180 pounds so that's the first 50 pound back from that bundle our second sale was this invictus games toronto 2017 jacket we got 18 pounds for that we paid a couple of quid for that after that we sold this burberry rework jacket for 50 pound they are over here on the rail so i just got to dish out the right one they are stored on the rail over here so the one that i sold should be this one here yeah with a red red collar so these are made out of vintage burberry scarves and reworked into kind of a bomber jacket pretty cool bought these wholesale i just wanted to get the first one sold so i took an offer at 50 on that one but uh i have got them listed a little little bit higher but um yeah we've got plenty plenty more to sell and i did actually give one to stacy i'll insert a little photo here of stacy in his new jacket and i've kept one for myself as well glad one of those sold that's going on the global shipping program it may be obvious to a lot of you, but if you don't use the global shipping program, definitely worth using if you don't already. You're just opening yourself to a worldwide market of buyers and you don't ship it abroad. You just ship it to the UK and eBay do the rest. Ooh. Sold a United shirt. I don't care. If it makes me money, I don't care. 49.99 sold on that one. It was literally listed for about 12 hours and it sold full asking price, 49.99. Beautiful condition, to be honest, double XL. It is the 2005-6 home shirt. Um, the only thing is, it's just got a little bit of damage to the sleeve where it must have been like stored somewhere or, you know, it's had some weight on it because it's kind of like compressed the cotton, caused like little holes and stuff like that. Anyway, didn't really deter the price. $49.99 is a double XL, so really good size. Paid a couple of quid for that last week. Next sale here, we saw these Patrick Ewing Athletic Trainers, £55. That is those there. Paid 30 for them, sold them for 55. So I'm literally probably breaking even after fees and stuff. Touch a profit, maybe. They've just been hanging around for ages. So I just kind of want to get rid. They are really nice, to be fair. They're just not very desirable at all. To be fair, I did pick them up in a massive bundle. So on the bundle, we're in total profit with like really good profit, a couple hundred pound profit. So you could say it's actually 55 pound profit because we've already made up the money. But if you're just going off this one item, yeah, we've not made too much. Another little piece of clothing there, £21 on the rail. It is a New Zealand polo shirt, double XL. So obviously when it does say rail, it is on the rail. If you're wondering what those are, they're kind of like the laundry sheets. They just keep everything a little bit fresh. Anyway, that is the shirt. Really nice condition on that, double XL, so good size again. We paid four quid in a charity shop for that one. Next sale there, a couple of box sets sold for £22.99 as time goes by. Series one to nine. And that is Dame Judy Dench there. What a legend. I sound like Ben Foster, don't I? Judy Dench, legend. Top, top woman. Absolute ledge. Next up, anyway, I'll stop waffling. So I did a few auctions on some Hornby stuff that I bought in bulk. So I sold this huge track bundle for £33.50 on auction. That is that box there. It's got like one of the battery things and then the rest is track. Untested, kind of, you know, shot in the dark. 34 50 Can't really complain with that. That came in a bundle for 50 quid. I've already sold a train for 35 I've Sold that for 34 50 is it? 33 50 So for that train bundle, I've got all of my money back. I've got a few more pieces to sell, which will all be straight profit. Straight profit. Jesus. What is up with me today? This bit here is also from that little bundle there. They've not paid yet, though. So that's £13.50 there. These bits here that I got £49 for, I actually picked up in a charity shop for a fiver. So that's five into 49. Obviously, it'll be a little bit to pack and ship it and stuff, but good profit there as well. The Freightmaster. Box is a bit battered, but it's got some nice little trains in there. 
Never really been into Hornby or my granddad or anything like that. Was never really into it. So it's totally new to me. But it has been fun just doing a bit of research and listing it. That's the other little bit of that bundle. So there's some old trains... I think that's a pretty new one to be fair, but yeah, 49 quid, can't really go wrong. You see, if I did know a lot more about Hornby, maybe I'd split it up a little bit better, but I'm really happy just to turn it over quick. Especially when it's big stuff like that, you just don't want it hanging about. There is that other little train, if you was wondering, it's a Virgin Industrial Diesel, got 34.99 for that. In box I, we sold this Plymouth Argyle shirt, 19.99. These are cool, these Playboy cushions, but we're not sold those yet. It is this we sold. On the shirt. Sold this one at the car boot. We got $13.99. I think we paid a pound for that. As you can see there. We sold those Galaxy Ice Skates for $29.99. That is the skates there. They are a UK 7, I think. We paid £4 for those. There is that dude, Michelangelo, in there. Sold yet another Walking Dead figure. £18. That is for this Riot Gear Zombie. Look at this guy here. Wow. The detail is amazing. We've sold this Charlie Bear called Dodo. Limited to 300 pieces for £120. That is amazing. We picked up three of these in the charity shop for £80. So we've made our money back and a little bit of profit on the other two. This one is straight profit. This is number 160 out of 300. Highly collectible. Definitely worth looking out for. Charlie Bears. So last couple of sales on eBay. We sold this K-pop NCT Dream CD DVD box set thing. £17.99 for that one. I think it owes us a couple of pounds. And then I've had this box set for absolutely donkeys. Many years. 9 99 we got for that one. Owes us about a pound as well. And a couple of years. <laughs> and I have been doing a little bit of cross-listing as well. So that's when I have stuff that's on eBay. That might be on Depop. That might be on Etsy. That might be on Vinted. The same items on all different platforms. So you have more chance of selling them. Just like this shirt here. We paid a pound. We sold it for 15 on Depop. Cross-listing is where it's at. If I wasn't cross-listing, I wouldn't have had that sale. That's £15 I wouldn't have in my bank. And again, another shirt that I sold, not on eBay, but due to cross-listing, it sold elsewhere. £22 plus postage for this Sheffield United shirt. Again, if I wasn't cross-listing, this would still be sat in my eBay store and I wouldn't have the £22. So yeah, there's definitely some worth in getting your items listed on multiple platforms. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get all this packed up get it sent out and then a little bit later i'll show you a bit more about that cross listing we're going to get some items listed because i've got some cool items some dunk some football boots some games all sorts that we need to be listing and yeah we'll do a little bit of sourcing in between as well if you are brand new you don't know what sourcing is it's not tomato ketchup it's me going out to the shops hopefully sourcing some new stock so buying some new stock so i can bring it back into my little hobbit hole of a garage and get it listed get it sent get it sold all the above while all this is going on as well i've just started doing amazon fba as well so i've not even done my first shipment yet but i'm just getting the ball rolling with that won't talk about it too much today but yeah i've got a lot lot going on at the minute but yeah just trying to expand try and do the most that i can a few months down the line i will talk a little bit about amazon but i'm not really going to get into it yet i'm going to learn the trials and tribulations make my own mistakes and then maybe i'll have something to say but uh yeah wish me luck on the amazon front so me again two seconds later i've just had an offer on some wild at heart box sets Got them listed at 29.99 i've got an offer for 25 i'm going to accept that offer hopefully get that shipped out today if they pay straight away and these haven't even been skewed yet so they're just down here on the floor i bought these for 50p a piece at the car boot last week so a nice quick turnover on those total spend two pound fifty sold for 25 obviously take your fees take your postage still some real good profit in that what a show by the way used to love it sunday night wild at heart me and my mum good times so that's all the parcels going out today. It took me an absolute age to get some of them done. Pretty painful one today. Right, before I drop them off though, I'm going to do the giveaway draw for this Inter Salah shirt, which we did in the last sales video. So I'm just going to do a random comment draw on this. We'll see who's won. So we've got 116 unique comments, and we're just going to start the raffle. Who has won? Thomas Williamson. Nice video, great orders. Congratulations to Thomas Williamson. Give me a message on Instagram, something like that, and we'll uh, get that shirt sent to you. My hair looks bloody crazy, but Thomas, well done to you, mate. You've actually commented on a load of videos recently, so I know you are an avid viewer, if you can be avid about this kind of content. Uh, but yeah, congrats, mate. To be honest, I don't even know what avid means. Whoa. So yeah, you got your ones here. These are mine. This is us just building a little thumbnail, isn't it? Yep. Just having a bit of fun. So we got Michelangelo. Is that how you say his name? Yeah. Got him out for it, didn't we? Yeah, so we're going to go charity shopping. We're going to see what we can find. 
and then we'll do some listing in a bit. So, S someone done. just won that football shirt. They did? How much? Oh, one. Sorry. Yeah, they just won it. Hold on to you. Get the Eilish. I'm keeping that. This nice little colourway. And you do um, appreciate Billy Eilish, don't you? Three pound. Much more. There is my beautiful girlfriend. Uh, my lips are crusty. She's got a crusty eyes. lip. She's got a dripping dripping nose. But I love her, so. Anyway, we've just um, bought some good stuff, haven't we? You did very well. So we'll do a little Harley Wally when we get home. Yeah. Got some... Leicester shorts, Swansea shirt, England shirt, you did get a really nice English some shirt. games. You got a, well, I'll show you the rest of the horse, so you're going to know how yeah. it is. So we're going to go to Hooks for Henry now. We do love it there, it's nice. Um, shout out to Jackson. Yeah, I was going to say shout out to Jackson. Glasses are off. Serious business. business. I look bald. I look, um, we both look really Winston. I look like a McDonald's M. We're looking over here, shall you? So a little haul in the car. First little bit, pair of Leicester shorts from when they were in the championship, number two. I'm not sure, I'm not gonna go and say they're match worn, all right? But who actually, who gets the printing on the shorts? That's a little bit, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I paid three pounds for those. And I paid three pounds for this Swansea City shirt as well. Joma, Joma. Size small men's, but three quid. You can't really leave it behind. It's white, there's no stains on it, it's beautiful. It's a Swansea City. Swansea. That's it's bloody lovely. No. Nah. So six quid for those two, and then this one was in a different shop. This is a Billy Eilish hoodie. So it's kind of like a graffiti print orange hoodie. On the back, there's kind of like this man on fire. I like that. There's the tag, Billy Eilish 2019. Might be a keeper, size medium. Should fit alright to be fair. So decent. That was three pounds. Quid for an England shirt. A couple of marks on it, but you know, we'll get a shower on the job. Charlotte got these pink shorts for herself. Pound. Little England rugby fleece, size 14. Nothing special, but it's a pound. It's so, really good condition. Yeah, for a pound, you can't really complain. Get a tenner. Then a couple of games. We've got fours or six for a pound. Destiny, they taken King, legendary edition. Pound. And then there was a couple of manga DVDs as well. Two for a pound. So it is Kairas, The Prophecy. Double this set. And Manga Force, Blood, The Last Vampire. I didn't search those up. I just thought pretty cool manga. You can always do a little manga bundle if they're not worth too much. Same with those as well. Like, if they're not worth much, I'm going to keep them anyway. I don't mind having a little Forza game. And then from Hugs, we got this little feeler, lilac, violet pullover. Is it quarter zip? Half zip? It's a half zip. Sorry, Charlotte's just sneezing back here. It's like dusty. <laughs> um, half zip feeler. Got a couple of marks on it, but we'll get them out. That's nice. Really nice. Nice. It's got a bit of a smell to it, though. That'll go in the machine. And then got this. Juju. John actually found this. It is just a nice little crystal set. Heart with two earrings. I'm yet to receive something like that off John. Okay. Disco beads. These are... Um... What do you do? Mm -hmm. I have here a... Long champ bag folds out, brand new tag. Little North Face fleece there, little blue one. Medium woman's. I got some happy socks bags. So these are happy socks. Uh, it's a sock brand, obviously. They do like mad designs. I've actually had a pair of these in the past as a little uh, Christmas present. Swedish brand. Um, there's just loads of these tote bags. So this is the tote bag, and then there's just tote bags inside the tote bag. All brand new with tags. Loads of different ones of these, so but you know, don't know what they'll sell for. Nice little multi listing. Yeah, so even if you got six, five, six quid a bag, this I don't know, I don't even know how many bags are in there. About eight or something. Happy days. You know what I mean, happy days, happy socks, happy life, happy wife. Not a wife. Sure, I got a little Nike gym top. <laughs> we found another. Yeah. We found another panda, so he's coming on with us. Right, we will say no to them soon, okay? But this one we couldn't. Because we found him in one of our favourite channels. Look at his shops. little face. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he is the mascot of the channel. Yeah. And he's called Huggy. Yeah, because he came from Hugs. So yeah, good little haul there. Oh, I've got two more bits. Always trying to steal a show, aren't you? Well, I've got to make the show interesting. Some gorgeous crystal earrings. Do you know what? These may not be worth much, but I just love jewellery, especially old jewellery. And these are 
What are they? Pals? No. It's a shell from Power Shell. Arica, New Zealand Power Shell. I'll show you that. I'll show you that. There you go. There's a little necklace and a couple of earrings. Yep. Charlotte's just buying stuff for the sake of it. You focus on your business, I focus on mine. Shut up, Mum. So, yeah, um, that's it for the little Holly Wally. Um, I've got plenty more to do today, though. So, Charlotte's going to love me and leave me. It's 20 past four. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be working late tonight. I'm sorry. Yes. Right, see you in a bit. Right, back home now, anyway. Crocs are on. That means we mean business. So, Charlotte's photographed a few dresses for me earlier when I was packing as well. So, those will be listed tonight. We've just left a little bit of a mess. So, we're just going to have a quick tidy up. And then I've got to get this skewed into the boxes. Then we can get some photos done, do some listing. I'll show you some cross listing. Lots to be done. So I've just been skewing up. So there's a little bit left that I've not actually listed yet, but been photographed. So they're ready to be skewed. So skew system, very simple. It's just a custom label on your listing. So box A, they'll be in box A, which is right at the bottom there. Box B, box C. So basically when you sell something, you just know exactly where it is. So it just makes everything a lot more simpler. A couple of years ago, I might have sold a t-shirt and I'd be looking through every single box to find this t-shirt. But now it's definitely in box I because it says box I. So it just makes everything a lot more simpler, especially when you're scaling up and you want to, you know, keep building and building and building. It's just it is much needed because it does save a lot of time. So all these in here have all been photographed, just haven't been listed yet. Same with those dresses. I did just put this one in here, but the other three I haven't listed yet. So they're ready to be listed and then they'll go in a box or on a rail to be fair. I need to start using the rail a bit more. These Burberries have kind of filled the rail back up, which I'm happy about. So while we're out, we had a couple of sales. We sold this plush for $8.99 and we sold these Necker clowns for $49.99. That is these guys here. Not a fan of horror, not a fan at all. I'm sure you guys can agree. And I'm sure a lot of you love horror as well, but nah, that is just not for me. I love action figures. I love Necker. I do not love clowns. Anyway, $49.99 for both of those. They came in that £180 bundle. So that's 50 quid there. And we sold the turtle before for 50 quid as well. So 100 quid back on that, which is lovely. The Ninja Turtle came from that as well. So that's listed at like 140 or something at the minute. So that will get us right into the profit. And then we've got an absolute ton of stuff in there as well that we need to go through. There's some Necker turtles and all sorts in there as well. So, uh, yeah, I just need to get those out and get those listed. But there's absolutely tons of it in there. Do I look well far away because I put on the wide angle lens? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. So I'll put you there while I'm pottering about. So while I'm doing stuff, I can just talk absolute shite. So, got the lid. Going to put the lid back on. Job done. In box E, up there. Got a bit of weight to it, that, because it's got a load of clothes in. Love that Swansea shirt, you know. Decent. I thought they were quality, though number on there as well i swear these are match worn you know obviously i'm not too sure but there's literally white marking on there as well as if it's from the paint on the grass you know what i mean this billy eilish hoodie is fire i'm gonna whack it on now right that is a bit smaller than me can't lie it is a bit smaller than me but if i wear like a white tee underneath white tee underneath be fine that's sweet that because it kind of crops up but a lot of hoodies do so you wear a little t-shirt underneath sound i've got loads of these for the euros now so when the euros comes around get at me we can get some england shirts sent out to you guys 2018 that one so what i do with these now i don't photograph my clothes in the garage i take them upstairs so these end up going in a bag i've got an absolute ton of clothes i've got bags and bags and bags of unlisted clothes so this is what i'm going to be absolutely smashing through very soon i've only listed five of these as well obviously one sold so i've only got four of these listed now so I want to be getting the rest of these up, really. I didn't really want to bombard them up at the same time, but may as well just get them up. So I've got one for myself. I'll give one to Stacey, and I've sold one, so I've got 18 left. So all my receipts, I'll take a picture of, put them away in a file, and then they get uploaded to QuickBooks. So that's what I do for my accounting. Can't get that on my head. Yeah, I've got a good few receipts in my wallet, so I'll take photos of all of them, kind of file them all at the same time. People always ask about the receipts and all the accountant stuff. This is what I do with my receipts. Take a photo of them upload them to quickbooks and then they'll go in a file like this obviously month by month so you've got january february march april type of thing that'll be 2023 i'll go and buy another one of these and so on and that is an a4 expanding file 12 pockets so obviously 12 months just makes it super simple keeps it all above board and um yeah you're not really going to be going mad looking for receipts just thought i'd put you all there i'm feeling the different angles today not sure if you're liking it but if you're just enjoying me at different angles talking about random shit 
then like this video because we'll do more of it. We'll do more of it. I do like doing the day in the lives. They're pretty easy to do. It's just me living my day, chatting to you guys. Hopefully you're learning something, you're enjoying it. That's all it's about. That's what it's all about. Anyway, for anyone new, this is where I pack. And then I just pull this down and then I can do photos as well. So that's what we're going to do. I am actually planning on getting a paper roll, having it up there and then just rolling the paper down. I do feel like it is a cleaner photo. So eventually, when I get back off holiday this summer, I'll get that put in. I've had these lights for years, the New Year ones. Pretty much most resellers use these ones. They're super bright. They do the job. And um, yeah, they're linked down below. And the little stands are linked down below as well. When you do order the lights, they come with the big tripods. But you can get these tabletop ones for like 15 quid. So definitely recommend both of those. Two lights and we're ready to go. I'm just going to fire through these Star Wars figures. A few other bits and bobs on there. I just kind of want to clear the area apart from the Amazon stuff. So yeah, that's the plan. Then during the week, I'll be cleaning up football boots and all that crap. Just literally random every day. Doing something different every day. And that's what I enjoy doing. That's why I enjoy doing what I do. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying the waffle today. I'm enjoying it. So yeah, closer look. But um, put your stuff in there. Get some nice photos. Always do them on the square setting. So it fits eBay. Fits Vinted. Fits Depop. Whatever you want to do. Dead easy. Right, so I'm going to get this out. Circulation boost. I picked up on the car boot Sunday. Obviously, it's Monday now. I'm gonna test it out. Hopefully, it works. Hopefully, my circulation's through the roof, and then we can get it listed. So it's on, tested, and working. I'll stick my feet on there, see what it does. I'm not gonna show you my feet though. Don't worry. And then we'll give it a wipe, get some photos done, and um, should be some really good profit in that. It is mad. This. It don't make a noise or anything. I've got my feet on there, right? Turn the sole setting up for the sole of your feet, and it proper tingles. Honestly. Oh my god. Right, so I'm on 15 now, but I flew it up to 30. That is... <sighs> so it's the same wire for all three of these. So I just tested them all out. They're all working. I just need to order in the cable for the other two. And then we can get them all sold. But at least you know they're all working. So I've took some photos. I've got that circulation booster all photograph. So I've got plenty to list tonight. But I'm just going to show you how I'm cross-listing at the minute. How I've been using not just eBay, but Depop. Etsy, Vinted, by cross-listing on all of these platforms, people that don't use eBay and they only use Depop, I'm accessing them buyers. People that only use Facebook, I'm accessing them buyers. Just a lot more buyers in the pool of potential sales. So it's super simple. I'm using ZipSale. Basically, it's a cross-listing platform where you can list on every site at the same time. When something sells, say it sells on Depop, it delists on all the other platforms. So it's dead handy. What I'm going to do now, though, I'm just going to quickly show how I do it how it works since starting using it about a month ago i've had an extra few sales every week just because i've cross-listed on every platform so you know what i mean weekly you know what i mean it's making me over 100 pounds which is epic really i'm really glad i started using it i did reach out to them um because i've seen it about for a couple of years now and i just never thought you know was it for me but i'm really glad i did before i show you what i'm doing anyway if you do want to try it there's a link down in the description there's code john luke if you do want to use it and you get a free month it's a month free. It's definitely worth giving it a go. Anyway, I'm going to show you how simple it is. So we're on zip sale. All right. So first off, when you're on zip sale, you want to go marketplaces and you want to link up your eBay. You want to link up your Depop. You want to link up your Etsy, your Facebook marketplace, your Vinted, everything that you use to sell. Everything that you want to be using to reach as many buyers as possible. Now you can list your item directly on the platform. So if you go to my items, you can add an item. And you can literally list an item straight to zip sale. So images, title, description, category, all that good stuff. You can just put it in there and away you go. However, what I found handy is listing on eBay first and then using my eBay listing to cross list on all the rest of it. All right, so I've got this Aston Villa shirt. It is live on eBay now. So that is the listing on eBay. Obviously, everything's linked up there. So if I want to list this now on Depot, I'm just going to click on that. Bang. Then it's going to load up. All my photos, all my titles and descriptions from eBay and put it into the form of Depop, basically. So on Depop, obviously, you can't have more than eight photos. So I'll get rid of a couple of these. So I've selected eight photos that I'd use because you can only have eight on Depop. My description from eBay is already in there. My titles already in there. Um, my categories already in there from eBay. You just put your Depop price. So let's say I want to do 23 quid on Depop. So just put my tags in like Football Villa, Premier League or whatever. Depop condition. You'll do uh, good condition. It is burgundy. We'll do sportswear. Put your shipping cost in. So I'll just put three quid or something. Size, medium, bang. So there we go. Villa shirt. It was on my eBay. Now it's on my Depop. Now I'll put it on my Vinted. 
yeah it's dead simple it'll come up again all my photos ready to go on vinted my titles ready for vinted my descriptions ready for vinted all the categories are ready there we're going to put in 22 quid on vinted why not we're going to put good condition it's got macron the brand's already in there color we're going to put burgundy size large package size will go medium and then bang save and list to vinted so that'll be live on vinted now so just like that my villa shirt is on ebay it's on depop it's on vinted i could put it on facebook i could put it on etsy and that works with everything do you know what i mean if you had 200 ebay listings you could load them all in whack them all on depop wouldn't take you too long and then you've got two platforms brim full of stock ready to go hope that was simple enough for you obviously it's not for everyone but i find having more marketplaces open at once i'm getting sales from different places then which is great and then when some sells it delists them automatically off the other platforms anyway so it's uh it's a no-brainer like i say if you did want to try that out code john luke get a free month give it a try loading your ebay and your depop or whatever you've vinted and um yeah just see how you get on with it any questions you do have about it pop them in the comments i'll try and reply as best as i can but it's definitely worth giving it a try. Just see what you think. See if it gets you any more sales. If it doesn't, no harm done. But um, it's definitely helped me. So my day is pretty much done now. What I need to do now, go back upstairs, chill, relax, breathe a little bit. And um, I'm going to whack 10 listings on eBay. So I'll try and get 10 done every day just to keep the store ticking. Then in the morning, I'll wake up. I'll be able to come on the laptop in the garage. And then I'll be able to cross list them over to Depop, Vinted or whatever I need to do um so yeah 10 on ebay tonight and then we can cross list in the morning but yeah hope you did enjoy today's day in the life we've got a bit of sourcing in there we've got loads of sales a few listings so yeah productive day hope you enjoyed today's video remember down below in the description got links to my instagram my facebook group ebay store all that good stuff and there's amazon links as well so everything i use in my business is all linked down below if you did enjoy today's video before you go leave a like leave a nice comment and um yeah i'll see you very soon peace